Hi, my name is Dean. I'm from On The Clock. Today, we're going to talk about decimal hours and hours and minutes. First, we'll talk about how to identify the decimal hours format versus hours and minutes. For decimal hours, we'll always be looking for a decimal point. For instance, 8.50 hours, that is a decimal hour format. Hours and minutes will always have a semicolon. For instance, 8 hours and 30 minutes. 8 colon 30. I misspoke earlier, a colon, not a semicolon. So that is the identification. Always look for a decimal point or a colon. Secondly, we'll explain what these two formats mean. So some people look at this as 8 hours and 50 minutes. Some people will think that that's 8 hours and 0.3. So we'll talk a little bit about this. Whenever you see a decimal point, um, we will look at the 0 0.50 as a fraction of an hour. So 0 0.50 is one half of one hour. So 8.50 is eight and one half hours. 8.50 is exactly the same as eight hours and 30 minutes. Hours and minutes, we, this is the hours part, so eight hours and 30 minutes. So whenever we see that, we know it's eight and 30 minutes. Whenever we see the decimal, we know it's 8 and 0.5, a fraction of an hour. Next, we'll talk about the conversion. So it only takes three steps. We've got it down really simple for everybody. If we want to do hours and minutes to decimal, we take the initial hours and minutes, which is 8.30. The first step is to divide the minutes portion, which is 30, divided by 60, equals 0 0.50. Second step is to move the integer part down, the 8, the hours part down. Uh, Third step is to take our previously calculated fraction or uh, the decimal portion, move that down, so the 0 0.50, so we'll end up with 8.50. So 8 hours and 30 minutes is 8.50 hours. Next, we'll want to go back from decimals to hours and minutes. Here, we'll start out with our 8.50 hours. First step is to take the 0 0.50, the decimal portion, and multiply that by 60. 0 0.50 times 60 is equal to 30. In this case, it is actually 30 minutes. Second step will be to take the integer part or the hours part down. Write that down. Put in your colon. Third step is to take the minutes. Move that down. So 8 hours and 30 minutes. 8 colon 30. 8.50 is exactly the same as 8 hours and 30 minutes. Last, we'll talk a little bit about why you might want to convert uh, hours and minutes to decimal hours. So traditionally, this is a very traditional format, the hours and minutes format. Uh, it's what's viewed on digital clocks, uh, but in this case, it is actually a duration, not a time. Uh, so this, this format is generally used for reporting purposes, uh, for uh, you might have some Excel report or some duration report that you need to show and some people just like to see it in this format. It's not too practical if you need to do any math, say for payroll or for billing purposes. Uh, very difficult to multiply this times an hourly rate uh, to come up with uh, a billing or a payroll number. So the reason we would convert over to the decimal hours uh, is for uh, it precisely that, payroll or billing or any other time related, uh, time duration related task. Very easy to multiply a decimal times another number uh, or do the math uh, on that, any type of math, for instance. Say for here, if we need to, to uh, take 15 minutes away from this, uh, you, it, pretty easy with 15 minutes, but say you need to take four hours and 12 minutes away from it. Sure, we could do the math, uh, but then we have to worry about carryovers and some other things. Over there, uh, it's much more easier. So that's the general reason of why we want to convert. So if you have any other questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you.